So I've basically been forced into buying the Cassetto Super 3 and that's because my previous stroller had a weight limit of 15 kilograms. My daughter's only 22 months and she's already exceeded the maximum weight capacity on that. And there's absolutely no way we could have got away with using that for any longer because before she even exceeded the capacity limits, she was already going through it. And there is such a difference. When I got this, I was quite disappointed because it's like, other than the chevron design, um, it's pretty much identical. When I was looking online, they look, the My Baby chevron and the Cassetto Super 3, they look in design very similar. I, I thought I'd best feel a weight difference. I'd best feel some sort of difference between both of the strollers and I most certainly do. I've not even taken it out yet and I already feel so much difference. First of all, the wheels, they, they don't feel as plasticky as the My Baby ones. And the frame is solid metal. The thing that I like the most about it is the harness. On the My Baby, the strap for the where the nappy is, or you know the bits is only it's only a small one. Where is on this? It's quite thick, so it supports the whole area into sitting up. So that's great. And this bit for the calves and that that can be adjusted. Oh. Um, th this is this is part of the reason. This is part of the reason why I was kind of looking for and over stroller anyway because the seats it didn't come up it didn't come out as much as this. This completely supports her bum. <laughs> the one she was kind of sliding out of. Both strollers say from birth to four. The My Baby, if especially if you have a bit of a junk baby, then you're not going to get away with a 15 kilo. If you want to use it till they're at least three, probably not. Saskia's two in April, um, so ideally a year, and if there's any more children, hopefully it's a girl, and it's going to be handed down. There was two strollers. Um, I think it was a silver cross pop and this one that was stuck between and in the end I just asked Saskia which one she wanted. Oh, do you want to get out? Do you want to get out? She's not too bothered about getting out. She does, she likes sitting in it for some reason. Um, so yeah, I let Saskia choose which one I bought. Um, of course, it's going to be the bright pink for the unicorns. Good choice. She's a bit grumpy at the moment. She doesn't want to get out though. I think she wants to go out in it and I think I'm going to have to take her somewhere. This part is an absolute nightmare. This is the hood and it's connected on both sides. And these zip ties, so tight. I've got to try and get this bit of cardboard out. And then that gives me enough room to, oh, I saw it with a knife. So, there we go. Try 
to make sure I don't actually cut that. There we go. I've read instructions and what other features I might have missed and there isn't that many I've missed but some things that I probably need to sort out one of them being the hood and on either side there is these let's just go around here they were really tucked away so I didn't even know they was even on the hood I think every stroller has to be able to lay down right so this isn't anything special but underneath here pull comes down some strollers claim to be from birth but not all of them 100% lie down flat um, I don't know specifics, but it is slightly up at an angle. The cup holder can be put, well, detached, first of all, it can be, be detached from the side and put on the back. One of the things my previous stroller didn't have was a zip on the side of the basket. This one does. <laughs> I can't tell you how many times I have struggled to get when my baby's been sleeping she's I've had to kind of like lift her up at the side and maybe she's a strong sleeper so it's not done too much but I can actually get in and put things in are you helping me with commentary thank you so yeah this is a very handy thing I really needed. <laughs> Hi. Hi. <laughs> another pretty cool thing is another thing that my other stroller didn't have was these can yeah. completely detach eventually. Ah. <laughs> <sighs> what are you doing there we go it took a bit it took a bit more effort than i thought that would but yeah so that comes off so you can have the fleecy side or you can flip it the other way around or you don't have to have it in at all you can just use what's there but after seeing the state of my other push chair i don't which i don't look forward to cleaning i think i would rather use this I, can't, I think it's called a calf guard, but this is how you adjust it. There's a little button on either side. Press them in and it adjusts. That's another way. And even further down. This is a thing I was on about before with the with this bit. Look at the side, look at the thickness between this. And the My Baby. It just, I don't know. It looked like it was giving a wedgie all the time and it really did look uncomfortable. And also the difference is on this, it's metal bars. So yeah, there's metal bars that come here and you can even, just the way it clicks, you can hear the... I don't know the sturdiness. Whereas, whereas on the my baby, you yeah. don't adjust that far, but it's just yeah. plastic. 
that just up here doesn't come round. And that's probably why my child was sagging to the front and slipping off. Having a look, they are actually the exact same. I did get the foot muffs for the My Baby, but I couldn't stand it being in. There are things here to tie, tie it in. But on this, there's some Velcro at the back. I'll show you. And it just sticks in. It just sticks on. And it is really strong Velcro. No rubbish there. And it's just insecure. It's not sagging down. Honestly, every like five minutes we're trying to pull it up with Saskia in the stroller. It just will not stay put. You'll have to excuse the state of the My Baby, but this is the, they are basically the same, except the Cassato is so much sturdier. It's so much, I don't know, I've not even taken it outside yet, but there's already so much more benefit to it than there is the My Baby, especially for the price. Uh, the My Baby was £100 and I got the Cassato for £149.99 off of Uber Kids. Um, I also, don't forget to use all your top cashbacks. Got some money back from that as well. Yeah, even if you don't get the Cassato, just think about the weights. I don't think you should set out for a stroller just for your toddler or one year old or even younger than that just to 15 kilograms just go higher because you don't know i personally rely a lot on the stroller especially for shopping i want miles with my shopping on the back of the stroller i know that, that's just how life is <laughs> don't get me wrong i absolutely loved the my baby i loved it when i got it i didn't know any better though so that's the review but not a review because I haven't used it, but that's a review of features, I guess. <laughs> uh, my child's been destroying everything around me. So, yeah, I hope you got something out of this. I haven't seen this. It's nice to see what it looks like, the colour. It's more like a berry purple, pink sort of colour. Um, so it's nice to see that. I haven't found any videos on YouTube with it, so... I hope you find this helpful. Bye.